Hi guys, uh, we're taking a look at Homeworld Deserts of Karak. I am Rory McGuire, I'm the lead game designer. And I'm Jonathan Dowdswell, the executive producer. So what we're looking at here is we're going to pop into a, a multiplayer match. We've got uh, two on two, a um, couple of uh, designers here at um, Blackbird uh, playing off against a couple of other guys. Uh, and this is going to be carrier. me here in the carrier, and we're joined by uh, Elliot and uh, Piero and Lance on the far side. Carrier copy. So you can see the two carriers here uh, basically is Rory's team, Rory and Elliot. And... Um, this is their starting positions. The, the game mode we're in is called Artifact Retrieval. There's a scoreboard at the top um, that indicates the artifacts that are available on the map to collect. And basically what these guys are doing, the fiction is that they've arrived at a location on the planet of Karak. There are artifacts in the region. There are also resources. There are also hostile enemies. And the two sides essentially are vying for point totals with the artifacts. So they're, they're going out salvaging, trying to grab them with these base runners and um, trying not to get killed in the meantime. And, uh, Artifacts are more than just, uh, uh, you know, kind of an objective as well. They're, they're also they're these kind of uh, ancient technologies hidden in the desert, and as we secure them, we're going to gain benefits from them as well. So we'll actually get more power on our carrier, and our carriers will become uh, individually more powerful. Um, the carrier is the, the center of our fleet. It's kind of the backbone of, of uh, your army, both in um, campaign and also in multiplayer. And it is at once a battleship. It's a support vehicle. It's your key economic unit. Um, so it's ultimately where the player positions their carrier uh, determines a lot, dictates a lot. It's a strategic decision. So this whole game mode is predicated on using these base runners, which have been part of Blackbird for ages, to go out, find artifacts, and bring them back to an extraction zone. But along the way, you have to deal with the other enemy, which is trying to do the same thing and trying to kick your butt. You can see here the fidelity that we have in the game, beautiful physics. Uh, just incredible shadows and, and graphical details. It has taken so long for this thing to come together, but every time I see one of those things drive around, it just it just makes me super excited. Yeah, one of our, our key pillars of the game was a concept we called vehicle fantasy, and that's the, the sense that these vehicles have a real uh, sense and purpose in the world as they're moving across. You get a sense of their power. Um, that's, you know, that's amazing for us and amazing here in the, in the desert, but it's also kind of a key component of Homeworld. Um, the, the ships and the vehicles are really a character in the game. Uh, you may also have seen the, this feedback dial that comes up some, from time to time. That's also a piece of Homeworld. Um, if, for those of people that have played Homeworld, that was a big part of the 3D movement in that game. In our game, it is actually a, a 2D play space with a lot of height variation, and so we've got this feedback dial to try and um, uh, match this game to the Homeworld vibe, but also give tactical choices about where you're going to place your units, where there is height advantage or disadvantage. And um, though we are set on a planet, the, the kind of 3D concepts do play a powerful role in the gameplay. Um, so manipulating the terrain and kind of planning your, your attack patterns around it is really important. So we're making a move here on the artifact. It's that uh, purple, uh, uh, glowing purple object over to the right there. Um, and what we wanted to accomplish with artifact retrieval is kind of a sense of almost like um, soccer or hockey, a very mobile, um, very... Um, dynamic um, game type. Um, so we, we've got three artifacts on the map. Um, you can choose to focus on controlling the map. You can choose on focus on dominating your opponent, kind of classic RTS decisions. But I, I can also choose to focus on extracting these artifacts. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need to support these base runners as they go off in the battle. So what we're, we're trying to do here is secure that. Speaking of battle, here we are. Okay, so we have a bunch of Rory's forces near one of the artifacts. You can see the little the pink glowy thing in the world. Um, that is actually also messaged at the top of the screen. Those hexagons that are all filled in indicate that there's three artifacts ready to pick up. And right now we have a little skirmish, the first of the, of the game, where um, the two forces are, are uh, sizing each other up and seeing who is going to probably take this. And it looks like we have a base runner in the region that is now going to move in and try and collect this guy. Nice move, Rory. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do here with uh, Elliot, one of our other designers, we're trying to grab this artifact. We've got our uh, light attack vehicles there out in front. Uh, they're kind of scouting for our long-range rail guns that we've got in the back. Uh, the other unit that we've got here is the armored assault, which is kind of our uh, breaks the wedge. Uh, he's our heavily armored unit, moves a little bit slower. It's really strong against light vehicles, uh, which we'll see those uh, sand skimmers up there starting to back off as they're moving up. 
And these are all tier one units right now. I don't, I, we don't see any of the, the heavy units or the mid-range units yet, but uh, presumably that's coming. But right now, it looks like we're just still focused on capturing this artifact. Which we're, we're moving this guy back, um, but uh, we do have still have forces here, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and hold this position. Worth pointing out, those armored assault units there are sitting atop a hill, um, and they're actually gaining advantage from that. So terrain doesn't just break line of fire, it's also going to provide a significant advantage here. And you can see they're just melting those sand skimmers that come out. I love seeing the burning guys. Sometimes um, when, when units are not quite dead, but they're burning... Um, and they're oh, we safe. actually have a flank here from one of the uh, opposing players they're trying to catch this artifact. Right on. <laughs> I love that. You can see that they were backing away, and now they're they're coming at you from the other side. So we opted to uh, hold that position and not escort this base runner back. I'm always so uncertain whether the base runner is going to make it. You can see the health bar going down as these guys are shooting at him, but it looks like he could have enough power to make it to the extraction zone. Uh, I I don't agree. I, we've split our forces here. We're, we were trying to control this and move the artifact back, and that was a pretty bad play. Um, oh, you know the outcome. Uh, yeah. And you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> Base runner is down! And these guys are gonna fall back, and uh, looks like we'll form up and make a couple of more runs at a few more artifacts. Um, but that is a sneak peek at uh, multiplayer and artifact retrieval, and um, thank you guys very much for joining us and taking a look.